What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, yeah, we're gonna be doing some uh, three drum exercises here. Gonna be kind of fun. Yeah, I think you're gonna love this one. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to Air Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because it really does help me out, and hit that notification button to find out whenever I make these videos. And to all my day ones, thank you so much for all the love, all the continued support. Again, got some stuff coming out soon, y'all. Some stuff coming out soon, and maybe a clinic coming around the corner. Yeah. Kind of crazy stuff, but yeah, let me show you this exercise. Um, it really involves a lot of, I would say like slapping and moving around between these three drums. I'm gonna show it and kind of like, it really does help me kind of warm up and get me in the mood. Gives me the vibes to just keep on going, man. You gotta love it, but yeah, let me show you this exercise. to love it i'm trying to tell you guys this is gonna be a fun video feel the old a percussion life vibes again but yeah let me show you what i'm doing so to be quite honest with you this uh really just started when i was trying to figure out a carlos patato valdez tumbao and i realized this has a lot of that influence and i was like man this would be a great exercise man to First build slowly and then build up faster and really focus on these tones. And really it's just three different tones. It's gonna be a close slap, a open, and a lot of ghost note like fingertip touches. Just those three moving around the set. But the close slaps aren't your normal close slaps that are normally down here. They're focused more on the center. So you're gonna be really focusing on like, yeah, using it all, using it all. But yeah, to start off this pattern, uh, I found that the best place to start it off is actually uh, initiating between these first two drums, which is gonna be a close slap or palm slap here in the center of the drum, and then an open with your dominant hand. So palm slap with your non-dominant hand, open with your dominant hand on the tuma. So it's just sound like this. After doing that, we're gonna see the first ghost note in this little exercise. So after doing that open with your dominant hand on the tumba, with your non-dominant hand, you're just gonna kind of like lift it up. Think about it as you're doing a bass finger movement, but in this case, it's a slap finger movement. And that little ghost note is gonna kind of help you start to move this way. And what you're gonna do is after doing that finger, you're gonna do a another kind of palm close slap with your dominant hand on the conga and then you're going to do an open with your non-dominant hand on the drum to your non-dominant side so it should sound like this so to put that together it's going to sound like this And if you really wanna have fun, you could really just make that part into an exercise. You gotta love these exercises, man. You find little, little golden nuggets in here, man. Now comes the tricky part. Yeah, 
there's a tricky part to this, but you gotta love these little ghost notes when you are able to kind of like decipher them and catch them in the movement. And basically after doing that open with your non-dominant hand to the drum to your non-dominant side, the main focus is gonna be right here on the conga. And what you're actually going to do is a finger, finger, finger slap. So it's another palm slap. So it's gonna be kind of like ghost note, ghost note, ghost note, palm slap. So it's gonna be a ghost note with your dominant hand, another ghost note with your non-dominant hand, and then a ghost note with your dominant hand to lead up to that first palm slap that we're gonna do, which is gonna set up the next part. So to kind of show you that slowly, it's gonna sound like this. And to put that together with everything, just so you can see how it leads up to this moment, it's gonna sound like this. I'm telling you, those ghost notes are gonna change your whole game, man. If you really start to focus on slight ghost notes and slight little touches, you're gonna start to see how it just really enhances and adds a little bit more flavor to the sauce, if you know what I'm saying. After doing that closed palm slap, this is where we're now gonna start moving to kind of finishing up this exercise. And it's, it's kind of weird when you start to break it down this way, but you're gonna see why I broke it down this way. But what we're actually gonna do is an open with our dominant hand, a palm close slap with her non-dominant hand, open with her dominant hand, a palm close slap with her non-dominant hand, and then an open with her dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. And this is why I say it's weird, is because that palm slap that we just finished before doing this part actually helps us lead in to this part and kind of gives it a little bit more emphasis and more umph to those opens. But to put everything together up to this point, which is really the end, it's gonna sound like this. But yeah, did you notice how that last palm slap kind of helps us lead in to those opens? And that's what actually helps the flow of this exercise. And really to start it all over again, after doing that open that we finish off with our dominant hand, what you're gonna do is a slight ghost note with your non-dominant hand and then a slight ghost note with your dominant hand and then a palm slap. And if you really wanna get creative, that last ghost note, you can actually make that into an open and it just, again, adds more flavor to the sauce. But yeah, to play it all the way through, slowly, it's gonna sound like this. You gotta love it, man. But yeah, to play it with normal speed and a little bit more emphasis and a little bit more sauce and feeling, it's gonna sound like this. Again, have some fun with it. Be creative, change the tones, move around, man. Don't just leave it with just that. Go back and forth and add some different tones to it. Because again, I'm only using three. So add, move, change up the close slap if you need to. 
and it's gonna add again another flavor another feeling to this exercise man but please take your time practice it slowly y'all because man you gotta love it it's just one of those exercises man that just get you in the vibes you gotta love the vibes gotta love the vibes but all right y'all you already know what to do like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day